Hi friends, we are with the 12th video in our VBOTS Rostro tutorial series. So if you have reached this video, you have done a great job in terms of learning about VBOTS and Rostro. In this video, we will be learning about computer vision. So we will be doing a small project using Aruko tags. This video will give you the basic theory and build on the concepts which you require. And in the next video, we'll go through the code and see the implementation. So now, let's see how our project works. So in this, we have a world where you can see the world around. It has many things. We have a robot which has a camera on it and it is publishing images. So you can see here, there are images published by the robot and it is going towards the goal as this AR marker is the goal for the robot. For example, if I click on shift and take the robot back and let's remove the orientation. So if you see, the robot is not seeing any special marker now so it is rotating around and exploring till it sees a frame which has a ruko tag this project uses of computer vision for getting the location of ar tag and you will see in a while that robot will stop rotating once it sees an ar tag it will correct its location by aligning itself to air tag so you see here it aligned to air tag and now a feature which you should note that in our camera frame you can you will see here that air tag always remains in the center so for example if i move my robot a bit where my air tag goes to the left we have a controller implemented which takes the air tag to the center of the frame and let's boost it so if we go closer to it once it reaches a threshold it stopped and the robot reached the goal so in this section let's answer the question what is a attack it is a marker which gives you the location so it is a unique identifier of a particular location. So in the left, you see an image where robot camera is looking at such markers and getting its orientation with respect to the markers. And here we should note that markers can be stationary on the infrastructure that is walls or ceiling or Markers can also be mobile. On right, you can see markers on robots. So those can be used to get the location of a particular robot from other robots. And very interesting thing in these images is you can either have camera mounted on robot or it can be fixed in the world. So now, Let's look at some of the applications of AR tag. So they are usually used in virtual gaming with augmented reality. Also, online shopping businesses are booming as people are using AI and augmented reality to see how clothes outfit will look on them. AR tags are also used by robots to detect an object if they want to grasp something. They can be used to get an orientation of a plane for augmented reality applications. Also, if you have markers in your environment, they can be used for localization and better mapping the environment. So they are vital in terms of SLAM. <laughs> So for today's project, we are going to refer the following documentation. The link of this OpenCV page 
will be given in the description. So here we see the implementation where there is a dictionary of Aruko markers already ready for use. So we can use uh, the function like draw marker in order to get the marker of a particular ID and a particular size. You can also get predefined directory. So if you are using a pipeline where you want to detect a particular marker, you will need to load this dictionary so that our code knows which marker is given by which ID. We can print an image with bunch of markers if we want to have the orientation of that plane correctly. So you see in the pipeline first it detects the marker. Once it has detected the marker with the IDs, it will give us the corners and make the boxes. And then at the end, it will give us the transform from camera frame to individual markers. So this is the code where we load directory. We use our image. We detect the marker. We draw the marker on an image. Then we estimate the pose of those markers. So we have a for loop here, which goes through all the IDs. And finally, we draw axis on all the markers and we show the image. So this is a basic pipeline which can be used to implement this project. <laughs>
This video gives you stepwise procedure in order to make a camera and to make a solid on it. So to view that is your camera giving correct cone of vision we can go in optional render and we can go in camera frustum so you see here your camera is looking forward which is exactly what we expected so this is all about the custom robot which has a camera which has two distance sensor in the front and three ir sensors which are looking downwards that's all this is our scene of a room and we have an air tag in our application we just have one air tag so we are not using its id <laughs>